was good. It's hard to give the details as he's choking me, but you guys can kind of see, like you watch mine and you can kind of see what he's doing. You know, he switches his hips, he gets that arm in nice and tight, grabs his own wrist, lifts it up as his elbow goes down to his hip. It's nasty, I can, I can tell you that from first-hand experience. <clears throat> I'll do my best to get as many details as I can. We're here, he swims in, boom, attacks the wrist, fakes like he's going Kimura, switches to the guillotine. He gets nice and tight, and then he creates space to grab his own hand. Now he lifts. <laughs> not a whole lot, <laughs> not a whole lot left to say that. Uh, yeah, he's just lifting up as his elbow goes to the hip, which we'll talk about in person, all the finer details to this. But I recommend choking people. That's a weird thing to say, but I recommend choking people as far as submissions go. If they go to sleep, they can't do anything to you, right? If you hurt them, and maybe they're still, they're still fighting with one arm or two, you know, whatever it is, they're still gonna keep fighting. So if you can render them unconscious in a safe way, we get choked out in practice every once in a while. It does happen. We, people get choked out in competition. Within a minute or two, they're okay. If you can shake out the cobwebs, they're fine. You break some guy's arm, you know, it might be out for a period of time to recover. Options yours, though.